This reflection is taken from the Gospel reading for Friday, August 19th. Love. What is love? Jesus had silenced the Sadducees. Now the Pharisees put Jesus to the test. Teacher, which commandment is the greatest? Jesus answers, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. I suppose if pressed, this summary of the entire scripture could be further condensed into that one word, love. Popular culture defines love as an intense feeling of deep affection, and so it is. But that understanding would limit love's true power. Even today, most people grow into the truth that love is not a feeling, but a decision. Feelings can burn hot, then just as quickly grow cold, but a decision has the power of permanence to carry on through the heat and the cold. But what does the decision to love your neighbor as yourself look like? So the question is, how do I love myself? I think I miss the mark if I just think of love in terms of feelings or in psychological terms of positive self-esteem or simply feeling good about myself. I think Jesus is talking about a much more practical and obvious self-love. When I reflect on how I deal with myself, I'm pretty consistent in feeding myself when I'm hungry, never miss a meal, and getting a nice cool glass of water when I'm hot and thirsty. Having a roof over my head is a priority. I clothe myself, lightly in the summer and warmly in the winter. I want to be comfortable. And if I'm under the weather, I don't hesitate to visit my doctor. I really do care about my physical needs. In theological terms, it seems I'm pretty good at practicing the corporal works of mercy on myself. So I think it's that simple. To love my neighbor as myself looks like feeding the hungry, giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, sheltering the homeless, caring for the sick, giving alms to the poor, and burying the dead. And who is my neighbor? Well, Jesus had something to say about that too. De Caloris, be not afraid, your brother in Christ, Joe Sosnowski.